I'm going to show you in this video how to drain bad gas out of the Prius. I ended up getting a tank of bad gas somehow and we'll show you how to pump this out. Removing this back seat is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You'll want to open both doors and then you'll notice there's some tabs right here and here that have to be pushed down. In order to see them, it's very stiff, so the best thing to do is press the release button and pull your seat forward. Then you can gain a little better access to what you're looking at. This tab fits inside of an eyelet. Once you've got both of the eye holes pushed down and up around that clip, you can grab the seat from the center and lift up and it'll come out kind of like so. Once you lift it up, it's a little bit stiff because that tongue fits in this groove. If you've ever removed a back seat before, you'll know what I'm talking about. Then you come to your pump assembly cover, which is right under here. And this is actually just kind of like a black tar glue. You'll get a flat head underneath here and just slowly pry it up and it actually comes out pretty easily. I found it easiest to remove this panel by starting back on this side and prying in from the back. And once you get it lifted up, you can fit your fingers in there and then just pry and lift up and all this glue will separate pretty easily. It's a four pin plug and it's pretty stiff. So I used a pair of channel lock pliers to pinch on the back side of here. It's a pretty stiff plug, but it came off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure the resistance across some of these pins to see which contacts are actually the coil inside of the pump armature to be able to feed power into this pump. Now if I test across the bottom plug, these are these two wires are actually a little bit higher gauge and it's showing a 1.1 ohm reading. These two are a smaller gauge. So I'm assuming this is actually the, I think that is probably the sending unit. 229 ohms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed power across these two and we'll see if this thing pumps fuel. As a footnote on this, you can see where these wires go into and it's got a cover over this, but I can kind of like see through the side here and it looks like this plug right here, this pin, is actually red and this one over here is black and white. So this one is probably your ground and this is your power. So what I'm going to do is feed power into this side, bottom right, ground to that side, bottom left. The way I assume this is I've got an old fuel pump that came out of a Honda. If I test the ohm reading across the two pins on this, if I test across these two pins it gives me 3.2 ohms. And on a typical fuel pump, you want about anywhere from 1 to 3 ohms, I've found. So we'll feed power into this using some alligator leads. And I believe I said I wanted power on this side and ground on the other side. Power on this side. And you can hear the pump running. Now you only want to do this once you've disconnected the fuel line. Now you can disconnect this fuel line from the rail. Pretty much what you'll be looking at is this housing. It snaps in on the back side. You can disconnect this, pop that thing loose, and then you've got a quick disconnect right here. You'll pinch both sides of this line and it'll pull right off right off of this line. This is coming up from the tank. So what I've done is I've put a line on this and I'm just bleeding it into a gas jug. 
You want to make sure you're in an open garage, doors open, so that you don't have any form of buildup of gas fumes when you're doing this. Now this is an enclosed system back here, so you're safe from any gas fumes here. Okay, so the 18 volt battery was a little too much. After about 5-10 seconds, it was starting to get a little bit warm. So I went with a jumper block that I've built that's 14 volts. And what I'll do is I've hooked up power and I'll hook up ground like so. These pumps are so quiet. But since this produces a little bit of spark, you don't want to have any gas near this at the time. You can blow yourself to kingdom come. You definitely don't want these two to touch, so I've wrapped this one with electrical tape, as you can see. So you definitely want to use proper voltage anywhere from you know 12, 14, no more than 15 volts. There's a link in the description of how I built this block out of two dead Prius hybrid cells, but it pretty much holds seven volts a piece, wired in series, you've got 14 volts right here. We'll hook this up, and you can hear that pump running. And I'll show you the amount of flow that's actually coming through here. So it's a decent amount, it'll take, I don't know, five, 10 minutes or so to fill this gas jug. 